and then Kelly. Hi guys, my name is Mia, and, and welcome, welcome to Mom's Monday! Today we're going to be trying snacks from Mexico. Sit from Abigail at Life of a Kid. She does fun challenges and really cool travel vlogs. And check out our channel after this video. I'm really excited. This is my first time trying them. I'm really excited because it's my first time. Let's Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they look so, they look so delicious. And yeah. They this look so really good. Yeah, I really want to try this one. I really want to try like yeah. this because I'm interested to know yeah. what this is. It looks very, very I want to know what this um, is. First, we're going to try Pelin Palo Rico. Sorry if we pronounce it wrong. And comment down below if you can help us with our pronunciation. So, I'm really excited to try this because it looks very interesting. On the package, there's like this guy with like this like kind of long, stringy hair. Oh, really yeah, and he has a green face, like looking like this. Okay. Ah. Uh, um, okay. Yeah, it looks like a snack. Let me smell it. It smells delicious. It looks like the Play-Doh thing that you buy and that you make here for that person. Okay, let's try. It tastes like spicy sauce. Mmm, yum. It tastes like um, hot sauce, but it also tastes like... um. This like snack thing that I like getting in China. I can't like remember the exact name, but it was really good, and this is exactly what it tastes like. It's really delicious. It's so delicious. I love it. It tastes like fruit leathers with a bit of spice to it. It's really delicious. I went a three was five. It's nice, guys. I'm gonna give it some heat out. <clears throat> I'm gonna give it a four out of five because it's really, really delicious. Now we're gonna try rice magicos. Yum! I'm really excited because um, the name sounds very, makes it sound very interesting and the packaging is like very colourful and I'm really excited to try them. Hi, my name is Mr King and I love eating donuts. I live in a castle and I have lots of other friends and I'm a lollipop. They looks like to be like, it kind of got a bit mounted on the way to us so they kind of looks like there's a picture of like a king on the front. And on the back, there's just some plain writing. Oh, okay, let's try. I'm gonna try. It tastes like yum. I love soy. It tastes like soy. Mm. Strawberry. It tastes like strawberry and a bit of. Like raspberry, you know, kind of that strawberry raspberry kind of flavor. I rate this a five out of five. It's really delicious. Mm, it's my tongue side feeling right. Um, mm, this is very good. I'm gonna rate this a four out of five because it's very, very delicious, and I just love it. Mm. Hashtag Serious Face Munch Monday. Now we're going to be making up the Delishy Osha and I think the flavour might be horchacha but I don't know. It looks like a sun with like a drink with some ice in it. It looks very interesting. And it says 100% natural on it too so let's get into it. I'm gonna tell you the flavors, so I can have another sip and see what I can taste. I need to taste some lemonade and coke. And the last thing, let me see what the last thing I can taste. It tastes like icing sugar. I'm gonna weigh it at four out of five. It tastes very sweet. I'm gonna give this a 
3 out of 5 because it was nice. And it's really hard to explain the flavour of this drink to you guys because I've never tried anything like this before. So it was very nice to try something different. Now we're trying Echo. I love chocolate milk in Italy, kid. Sorry, story milk. Abigail wrote us a translation of the directions so we know how to make it um, in English for us. Whoa. So we're just pouring some into cold milk. Now I'm going to put the echo into this. So I'm going to take the thing out. We're now pouring it into near boiling milk. Okay, now I'm going to mix it. Now it's ready. It looks like custard. Oh, that looks so delicious. Guys, so let's drink it. One, two, three, drink. Reminds me slightly of like a liquidy version of porridge. It tastes like banana. It's kind of thick. It reminds me of like caramel or like butterscotch, you know, like that kind of thing. It tastes like the fudge. I give them a Swiss try and a five out of five because it's because I love it. I'm going to rate this a 4 out of 5 because it's different and I'm also going to give it a munch must try because I reckon other kids should try it and adults as well because it's definitely different. And now we're going to try and sponge your sponge. Um, yeah, write down below in the comments if you know how to say it correctly. The picture from like the package reminds me of what we tried from Ireland, those like biscuit things which I really like so I'm guaranteed I'm going to like these. This reminds me of a Shrewsbury with like marshmallow on it. It looks like raspberry, biscuit and strawberry and there's coconut on it too. I think I really, the part I like of it is the cookie, the bottom. Um, the biscuit, like the white one that I tried, tastes like pancake mixture. So let me try like some of the pink. I give the 5 out of 5 to the cookie on the bottom, and I give the 5 out of 1 to the topping. The pink one kind of tastes like strawberry flavoured pancake mixture. The white and the pink remind me of marshmallows. I'm just going to try a little bit of strawberry. There's like weird stuff in the middle. The red stuff in the middle of it tastes like strawberry jam or strawberry from Shrewsbury's. Shrewsbury's are good. Yeah, it was nice. That's why I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. Now we're going to try a cremino by Colors. Again, sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Put in the comments below. We'd love to know how to pronounce it properly. Um, I'm really excited to try this. It looks like um, a, a chocolate like ice cream, one of those chocolate ice cream kind of sandwich biscuit thing. Yeah, it looks like, like an Oreo. Yeah, oh, it does actually. It looks a lot like an like a square Oreo. Yeah, a sandwich Oreo. It's nut flavour. It says it's a hazelnut flavoured cocoa praline. Oh, it looks like chocolate, like caramel slice. It smells like a Reese's peanut butter cup. Um, so I'm going to try it. Okay, this is what it looks like on the inside. So let's try it. Tastes like one of those small little Easter egg things that you get at Easter time. Tastes like mint and nuts. I'm gonna give it a one out of five because it just wasn't my thing. I will three out of five because it's nice. Looks like a cool little dragon and with its yellow legs. It's and I love like the things look like his like that bit looks like little gumballs. Little gumballs. So it's called Nachita. Potatoes, potatoes, I think. So let's try it. <gasps> yeah! I'm so glad we stopped trying this. I'm so glad I'm trying this. Yeah. Okay. It looks like a little ice pot. Like the beads, the ice pot thing, and this is the top. It's 
one's here. Okay, I'm making it here. That's enough. It's cool. That's like the dinosaur's little head. So dinosaur, it's time for you to get full of the game. Yeah, I can taste chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla. Yeah. Guys, I'm gonna set the list. Okay. Yeah. I weigh five and five. I give it a much more surprise. It's really delicious. If you don't like treats, you should try this. But if you do like treats, you can try it. Bring it to me! Okay, I'm gonna try Palanita. Like before, I'm just put in the comments um, if you know how to properly say it because I don't think I'm saying it correctly. This lollipop looks like a caramel, like it's caramel flavoured. Um, it also kind of looks like a prune. There's like the texture though. Let's try it. Um, it smells like those bowl things that we got from Thailand from Danielle Reviews. That's what it, um, those bull things. Tamarind. The tamarind bull. It says tamarindo on it, so maybe it is tamarind. Yeah, because those are really good. Mmm. Definitely tamarind. This is what it looks like on the inside. The inside is just a basic lollipop, but the um, outside is coated in tamarind, so you eat the tamarind and then you can just suck on the lollipop, which um, is really good. Tastes like... It says on the packet, mango. So tamarind on the outside and mango on the inside. It definitely tastes like mango, but I was about to say pear. And not like mango. <laughs> mm. Very good. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna give this a five out of five because it's very delicious, and I love the concept of it. I'm um, having like tamarind on the outside and then the inside, so you eat all the tamarind off, and then you can suck on the lollipop. I'm actually gonna give this a much must try because I feel like. Other people should try it as well because just the, I love the concept of it. Munch must try five out of five. Just I love this. Thank you so much, Abigail from Life of a Kid, for sending us this package. Check out her channel. If this is your first time watching our channel, please do consider subscribing. Please like this video and share it with your friends. And we'll see you guys next time on Munch Monday. Bye guys. Bye Munch crew. Thank you for watching us try Mexican snacks for the first time. Explore, take a bite of life, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.